Hello, uh, everybody. It's Dr. Rick dropping in on you. Hope everybody has had an unbelievable uh, week to this point. Hopefully, you're closing out a successful year, no matter how it's going. Remember what I always say if you are still breathing, you're still in the fight. Now, uh, this is going to be a very short video. Uh, some will take it serious, some won't. Um, but We've all been following the drama between Master P and his son, Romeo, as it plays out uh, in front of the whole world. Um, and obviously there's a lot of things we don't understand about the dynamic. And honestly, despite their celebrity, there are things we don't need to know and understand. My thing is I see a microcosm of a much larger issue. There's a big gulf growing between parents and our children. And, and I see the pain. I also see the dynamic of grief. Uh, Romeo lost a sister. Uh, Master P lost a daughter in one of the most catastrophically destructive um, and painful and devastating ways that it could possibly happen. Uh, she took her own life. And then you don't understand and know everything that went into her suffering with depression. And there's a lot going on. And what I decided to do was just make an open uh, offer. Um, this is my area of expertise. Uh, I will be more than willing to mediate uh, between the two to find common ground and to initiate healing because that needs to be healing for what's going on with them. That needs to be a reckoning for what goes on with them. Uh, things need to be settled, but also that needs to be proper grieving and healing as far as the loss of this young lady. And uh, I would love to help them develop positive, effective ways to advocate for mental health uh, in her memory. Uh, sometimes we get so energized by our pain uh, that we just go. And it's the way we keep from slowing down long enough to process. Uh, I would love to do that. Um, for those who question my uh, capacity to do so, just read one of my 25 books. Two, uh, un The Undoing of the African-American Mind and Born in Captivity, Psychopathology as a Legacy of Slavery, where I break down uh, the dynamic of trauma uh, and how it impacts us as a people, as a collective, and as individuals. Um, this is not for playtime, uh, no cameras, uh, same confidentiality that applies to any other client. This is behind the doors, healing and work. Um, and it's just me saying, uh, hey, uh, somebody, I, I'm pretty sure they have access to a whole bunch of people. And I'm pretty sure they're qualified, but if not, hey, um, I'm here. I want to see healing in the black home, not, not just for P and Romeo. They represent a microcosm to me. They represent a big problem. And I deal with this. I have young black males predominantly who are struggling with depression. I have females of all ages struggling with depression. Uh, let me tell you, it's real. Uh, if you're not careful, it can literally take over your life. And it, you don't have to take your life for your life to be taken, if you get what I mean. Uh, it'll have you where you can't function. And I want to help as many people as I possibly can. So this is just me reaching out in one way to see if we can heal that. Because if people can see healing in that, maybe they can see the possibility of healing in their own particular situations. Um, on that note, I am going to get off of here. Anybody that knows them, anybody that knows someone they can share this with, anybody that knows um, who to put this in front of to just make their offer again, I'm pretty sure they have access. But obviously, whatever's going on, is being fought out in the public. And that's not the way you heal family issues. That's the way you cause more damage. That's the way you widen the gulf 
uh, that needs to be brought behind closed doors and we need to deal with things from a place of honesty. And that needs to be somebody that doesn't have a horse in the fight, horse in the race to be able to help bring things out and confront them and deal with them. Uh, there needs to be some talk about how they're processing uh, the death of this beautiful young lady. Again, maybe I'm not the person and I'm okay with that, but I think that maybe if we strike up enough, more people who are talented, experienced, and gifted in the areas that I operate in will come forth and we can create something that's focused on mental health in our communities. And that would be awesome for me because it's an issue and it's a growing issue. Uh, I've talked to you about the spikes in suicide among our baby girls, five to 13, uh, young black males, ages 14 to 24, and a 30% increase over the last five years overall. Uh, that's real. Uh, that's not going anywhere. If we don't confront it, we have to deal with some issues. On that note, I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to get this up uh, and see what, what, what happens. Uh, again, it's more about just bringing attention and challenging us to heal, challenging us to confront the things in our lives that have brought us pain and to properly process that pain so that we can heal and grow and move forward. Uh, we can't allow the things that hurt us to paralyze us long term. And so that's that. So again, I'm out of here. You guys have an unbelievable remainder of your day.